How do you feel about when crazy people kill people? Like, I feel like if you kill two people that brutally, you should get killed. <laughs> I mean... Some folks are not so capital punishment prone. And we have gone to multiple evictions, have conversations with this guy. Yeah. We're acquaintances. You might, I mean, I might call us friends. I don't know if he would. But... Like, how do you let somebody who took two lives forcefully in a fit of rage yeah and it was a violent rage violent rage like he didn't just go blast them he was stabbing them to death that this guy was just allowed to basically be free and super liberal state that's usually what happens i can hear the demons call when they do what they do and now i feel like taking off find a place with the view the pain is never gonna that time, Matt tried doing a good deed, but he ended up just murdering it. Yeah, it happens a lot. You know, maybe that's what that guy was doing in Montana or Maine or wherever. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that. No, he was not doing a good deed. He was not being nice and putting those people out of their misery. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So, that murder thing we were talking about is a... Uh, happened in Maine, I believe, in 2021, where this family who owned like a, I don't know what it's called, like a, uh, like a multi-unit apartment complex, something like seven or eight buildings, or not buildings, units, and they let this guy stay there, and he, uh, he ended up being a real crazy person do weird shit, he was threatening other tenants. And then, one day, feeding this family took in this crazy dude, and he was, he was paying rent for a while, and he was acting kind of funky. But then, uh... Hello? Am I just losing my mind? You scared yourself talking about death. Yeah, I was talking about that, but... Speaking of death, back to it, the family took the guy in. He was living in one of their units, and after a while, everything was like, okay, but eventually he started acting weird. And then one day, one of the other tenants called the cops on this dude, and he was, can't remember everything from the news article, but I'm sure they'll link it below, but he, uh, he like threatened one of the other tenants, so they called the cops. The guy who owns the place told the cops when they came that like, this dude's wild. He, you know, if you let him go, he's probably gonna hurt somebody. But long story short, the cops don't take him. They let him go. And later that night, the daughter of the guy and lady who owned the apartment complex was woken up to screaming. And when she went to go check on it, the fellow was in there and he had stabbed their mother and he was in the process of killing her father when... And succeeded. Well, he was in the process of doing it and the guy was fighting him off. <clears throat> he was fighting him off and unfortunately he didn't succeed so he ended up dying. The daughter, the guy was taken away by the cops. This happened in 2021, but just recently, he was found, I believe it's criminally insane in Maine, or something similar to that where he's basically not guilty of the murder because he's insane. But yeah, he's found criminally unfit to stay in trial. So he's sent to a halfway house for the rest of his life where he essentially, with AIDS, is allowed to walk the street. And when I read this, my initial thought was, that could happen to me mid-month every month. Like, I could show up to a place where I'm posting a three-day, even if I know the person. Mm -hmm. Like, what's stopping them from just coming out and uh, shooting me a bunch of coming times? Coming out in a rage. It could, right. It could just be... One bad thing after another form in that day, and then just that notice getting stuck on the door. Yeah. Make them snap. We have people come up. We've had people come up and like screaming at our office, banging yeah. on the door, hitting the windows and stuff. But 
Yeah, I thought about it for a while and was like, you know, I can't believe that the justice system there is so bad that this guy was just allowed to basically be free. And super liberal state, that's usually what happens. And in time, he will be moved to an actual halfway house where he just needs to check in and out during the day. He just has his hours and he'll be free to do whatever he wants. Well, this lady is paying for therapy every week because, you know, she witnessed yeah, her parents sure be no murdered. helping her pay for that. No. Nope. This other guy is going to be taking care of for the rest of his life. He murdered two people and then he can go and do whatever he wants. Do whatever he wants. It's absolutely insane. And I don't know, like, how on earth do you, does a state, even a super liberal state, justify letting somebody like that even live? Yeah. Like, how do you let somebody who took two lives forcefully... In a fit of rage. Yeah. And it was a violent rage. Violent rage. Like, he didn't just go blast them. He was stabbing them to death. Yep. Stabbing them to death. But I, I don't... It gives you time to think what you're doing as you're doing it. You I shoot get, someone and it'll be done in a second. Yeah, I, or even if you stab somebody once and then immediately was like, oh my god, what have I done? This is Stop, a bad idea. Call the cops, whatever. I might have a little bit of sympathy for you. But you stood there, killed one person, started killing the other person, and then he was at least, I think he was like 60 years old, 60-something years old when he got stabbed to death. And he was strong enough to hold this guy off while being stabbed until the cops got there. Now, he later died. He was rushed to the hospital alive. The mom died, like, in the house. But the whole thing makes you think that we do this. We do shit like that every day. Our, pers our faces are out there. Our personal information, for the most part, is out there. What's stopping somebody it could. from doing that to us? The, one of the bailiffs we know got into a shootout oh, yeah. off of, what was it, like Madison or maybe it was Detroit. Yeah. But, you know, and we have gone to multiple evictions, have conversations with this guy. Yeah. We're acquaintances. We might, I mean, I might call us friends. I don't know if he would. But. but he's definitely traumatized. Like the last eviction I went to with him, he was definitely jittery. Oh, yeah. Than he had been before. At uh, 41st. Yeah. What do you think, Pete? What's your thoughts on the whole thing? Kill him? It's not great. Stab I mean, him? Is that great? No. It's, it's <laughs> just a fucked up situation. More murder. I think, honestly, in some cases... He should be at a he, psych ward. Yeah. Or, or, or dead. Yeah. Yeah. These days. Or dead. Like, I feel like if you kill two people that brutally, you should get killed. <laughs> I mean, some folks are not so capital punishment prone. I don't even prone. know if that's... Ca I mean, yeah, it's capital punishment, but it's like... At least I don't stab you to death. Like, you get to be put to sleep, and then you gently Peacefully. drift off to death. <sighs> yeah. This is why I didn't want to talk about this. I'm all worked up now. Now I'm all pissed off about it. Because when I read it, I was like... Fuck, dude, I have a family. Like, at some point, I plan on doing this on my own. Owning houses, collecting my own rents. Like, if you have a property manager, maybe they'll get stabbed to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll stay with Holden Lines, though. I'll use them as my yeah, property manager. the professionals. Let me go see if Derek cares about this. He probably does. D Rock, how do you feel about when crazy people kill people? <laughs> no. Uh, I'll explain to the story to you short, you know, short. So there's a... A news article? Yes. So what happened with that again? Okay, so in April of 2021, okay. this lady's, uh, she's the daughter of the two people that own the, the property that this happened at. She lived okay. with her parents on a farm just down the street from the property. Okay. They ran into a young man who... Sketchy, you know, he didn't have the greatest pass, but they were like they took a gamble. They took a gamble So they My put him on checks work people So they put him in one of their bigger buildings where he was right down the road from them and he started Causing problems with one of the long-term tenants. So the guy he made it was multi. I think it's six unit Oh, I think they don't tell you in the article, but they allude to the fact multi that there unit. are multiple people in this one unit. Okay 
And uh, so the guy goes down there because he gets the call from his long-term tenant and he confronts him and he's like, hey man, you gotta stop. This can't keep going on. Long story short, it escalates. Uh, the dude's like talking all kinds of craziness, saying he's gonna call the cops or uh, saying he's gonna retaliate, kill him, I'm gonna get you. His cops get there. They take both sides of the story and they end up letting the guy go. The dad says, if something happens to us, to anybody tonight, it's your fault. Long story short, the lady who the story is written about is woken up to screaming in the middle of the night. She goes into her parents' bedroom. The guy had already stabbed her mom five or six times, was in the process of stabbing her father to death. Did her, they say why or he was just pissed off? He was just mad. They didn't like raise the rent or anything? Didn't say that they raised the rent, though, if you do own a building, if you're not actually raising the rents on your tenants, you're missing out on it. Yeah, what are you doing? You're missing out. But you got to be good about it. Like, you need So they didn't do state, a like, a reason for him to attack him? He just... he just was mad that the dude called the cops on him. First of all, I feel like that's a police issue. The police did get involved. Yeah, they yeah. Did. What do you, why are you not arresting sued. the guy? Because they, they didn't give a fuck. Don't you think they can sue the, uh, the, police, the police department, department for wrongful yeah, death or something? It's like the Jeffrey Dahmer Probably. shit, like you mentioned. They just yeah. let the kid go and then he, you know. Yeah, then thing. he gets murdered. If you have like multiple people being like, hey, this guy. Is an issue. Yeah, why do you not do something about that? You're just going to let him. But I it's. I'd be curious to know, yeah, if anything happened to like any of that. So the, yeah, was there any buildup? Probably not. The, uh, no, it didn't seem like, reading the article, it doesn't really seem like there was a That's lot that know. happened like before. Did missing, you just snap? I feel like there's, like, yeah, he was just crazy. I need a 10 I mean, part people are fucking crazy series now. on this story. It's there very, will be like, one. It's very vague. Like, I feel like there has to be more. Yeah, what's the, give me all the deets. To it. Like, something's, you're leaving something. something. I don't know. I mean, people don't just kill people, but. Sometimes people do Dang. just kill people. Well, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that happens like a lot. That's sometimes like people do just. The main people. reason why people kill people. Yeah, Maine strikes me as a state that's quite liberal. This is in Maine. Light on crime. Yeah, it's in Maine. Maine seems like a light on light, light on, on crime, crime. Like they like they don't have a lot of crime. like. I, I think yeah. the issue is they don't have a lot of crime. Yeah. I think Probably they don't they have a lot of crime, and then when something happens, they're like. They don't know how to act. What do we do? We have to like put this dude away from life? What? But I was telling these Let's guys, go. they didn't. They just, they put him in like a facility for criminally insane or whatever. And he gets... You're like he, tied to a wall or something? He currently gets outside time. He gets oh. outside time. He's, the facility though, we're like he's allowed out supervised? with two handlers right now. Handlers. Out into the, yeah, out into the world. Yeah, I mean, if you're just going to be killing people, like... But I was telling these guys, Even I was like... They, go ahead. See, like, that's just too soon. Like... It's this, only been two years. Yeah. Like, doesn't, don't they usually release people who are criminally insane after, like, 40 years? Well, they shouldn't release anybody who's criminally insane, first of all. Got so that, that down. down. Um, he's criminally insane. What's he going to do? Just buy a house from me? He can rent from us. Yeah. We'll rent from him. Not if we do In seven, in seven, seven to ten years. So, <laughs> yeah, it shows up in his background. One question I have not. is... He was criminally insane, so he didn't go to jail? He did not go to jail. He was, fi- he was found... record? He was found unfit to stand trial. But if I run a background check on him, is probably it gonna be not. Like, hey, you fucking murdered someone. Probably not gonna come up. How? You How? Two dumb ones? But yeah. he's telling these guys, well, it, it would come up because the file would. Yeah, there's gotta be a record. There, of it, happening. it never went. It didn't like go to court. He was found unfit. So I mean, maybe yeah, but the like, record of it being it filed, would be on, maybe. Yeah, it would still be on record. As a but there's a chance that it could be and like. The would have been but it's a chance that it could be sealed because it. You should just be able to run a background check on him and it should just give you something back that goes, he's fucking insane, don't run into him. Okay, got it, cool. He was he was found unfit to stay in trial. Feels like yeah. he's like unfit to be part of the, our society then. Well, he will be soon. <laughs> he will be in society sooner than later. Well, what do you think happens if he kills again? You think they're gonna be like, uh, maybe he's insane. Do what are you gonna do? Hey, don't hey. Never, you shouldn't release someone who just killed two people. Well, in that's two years. what I'm saying. Like, if he's, if you're gonna list him or label him as criminally insane, I feel like you don't just give him his things and go, oh, yeah, yeah they don't really tell you like what. What do you do with that? Unfit to stand trial for himself, but he can go back out and. Yeah, he's that's what it was. He was unfit to stand trial. Yeah, eventually. Like, 
eventually he'll be a loud rock. He's gonna have to talk to a shrink. I don't think he'd get like full like. I don't know, man. I, just I don't know. I'm mad, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Think it happens. Like yeah, I'm mad, dude. Really <laughs> you don't sound very mad. <laughs> I mean, that's how can you know? There are some stats. That. You just murder yeah, two people. Like, hey, you know, have just be out there murdering people. What are you gonna do? Then <laughs> take my meds. Oh, here I go I'm killing bad. again. Just, yeah. You know. Check Hope I don't get kill and rage kill more people. <laughs> but like, I, I, get I, I mean, yeah, I don't know. know. I, I, that shit could happen to us. How many multi-unit buildings do we have? Well, there could have been a crackhead with a rusty knife in there. I thought there was a crackhead yeah, with a rusty knife in there. Yeah, it made me go in first. <laughs> More of the story. Yeah. I like popped my head in. I thought I heard something. Now I was like, oh, is today the day? We don't yeah, no, it was the water dripping in the bathroom because it got me too. I thought too. the fan was going too because there was a light on, so I thought maybe the ceiling fan was on. Because there was like flickering in the background. Yeah, I'm like, I heard, like, there's somebody click, in click. here, dude. I was like, <laughs> it's too small though. I was like, no, I can't do it. But I guess. You I never gu know, that's the problem. I guess the reason I bring it up is like, how does that make you feel about like what we do? I mean, yeah, I'm not like think about when we're out in the streets. You can go post a three-day notice and get shot in the back well, on yeah, your way you back just, to your car. You got to pick the wrong person yeah. on the wrong day, and yeah, and that's what I was saying. It could, it could, it could, it could happen. Just be it a could bad happen day. in traffic on my way to post a three-day notice from some random guy. Yeah. Realistically, ah, uh, yeah. Just catch you know what I mean? Well, like, and then think about anything. think about where we're posting three-day notices at. Too. Yeah, I'm not going to Westlake. Yeah. We're not going to Beachwood. I'm going to East 43rd. Yeah, East 116th. <laughs> you know, West 117th. Look at crime statistics. Full of our properties. I guarantee you it's red. There's going to be some correlation there. <laughs> it's going to be a red map. <laughs> a lot of crime. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, you can't just like murder people, but apparently you can. You just say you're insane. Yeah. And then. Oh. Uh, you can, is that a passing of all tests, or is that a failing of tests? Did he pass tests to be insane, or did he fail tests to be insane? fucking Yeah, failed. that's a good point. What Somebody look at... Test? Do you fail the test to be insane, or... Do you pass I the wish test you to, have to be pass insane? The, he's insane. I you wish they posted sort of photos under. of, like, the guy, because, like... Yeah, well, I want to know what's insane looks got, like. Yeah, like, crazy eyes and shit. I, you might take one look at the guy and be like, yeah, no. Is he just wearing, like... Is it, he his yeah. eyes? Yeah, if I saw the guy and I was like, you really rented to yeah, that guy, can, that's kind of on you, dude. That's good. Well, I think the, he starts the, giving the, the draw line is usually if there's some sort of, like, deliberation. Yeah. So if he, like, feels like a fit of rage, but then afterwards you talk to him or whatever and he's just, like, completely normal and presentable. Yeah, that might have been like, crazy. Like, that might be, like, a case, but otherwise, yeah, like, I don't really know. Like, how do you... How do you determine? Because you know how many, like, no serial killer ever got off on being criminal. Yeah, like, why wouldn't... Well, that's really because it takes a lot of smarts well, to yeah. try to cut yeah, people exactly. up people up. Only Ed Gein. That's because he was, like... Super Took dumb. Some really courses. dumb. Bottom of the barrel. That's wild. All right. Well, so, so I guess what we, we found this is what that happens when the state fails, when the state the fails the citizens, and this people are like, "Hey, this guy's a little crazy. He's making everyone feel a little uneasy. He might hurt somebody." And the state's just like, "Eh," and he kills two people. It's fine. Good job. Even man. after he kills two people, they're like, "It's fine, dude." So the moral of the story is. Don't kill people. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.